Is, is this thing on? It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. Due to my Burger King obsession and insatiable curiosity to try new things, BK has released a few limited edition, limited edition. <laughs> Uh, Chris D'Elia reference. Hope you watch that guy. He fucking kills me. Anyhow, limited edition items that uh, I want to get before they go extinct. While they're still farm fresh, local to the table. I did that backwards. Farm fresh, local, locally sourced, farm fresh, limited edition Burger King. So let's fire this up. And get the stepping. All right. And if y'all can hear me over the ice cold AC, I'd like to present to you and report to you that it's a beautiful evening right now. The sun is going to dip in like half an hour, so we're rushing against the clock, but we'll get it done because I live in a very small town where I can get to Burger King in two and a half minutes. So just a little view of the crisp summer night halfway through august pretty much here and i gotta tell you i'm loving it but we're going to bk not mcdonald's so we shouldn't say that basically nature is letting me have it my way right now Okay, I'll give you a sneak preview. This garlic roadhouse, whatever, garlic burger. This is just garlic burger. It's very uh, roasted garlic king. It's very simple in nature. I don't like the OG construction, so I'm gonna add my twist on it, but we'll see that when I get it. Hello, can I have the uh, sourdough chicken club? Just a sandwich with no cheese, okay. uh, but heavy lettuce, tomato, and tomato and mayo. Okay. Yes. Uh, can I also have the roasted garlic king? Uh, roasted garlic king. Okay. Just a sandwich, and can I add lettuce and pickle to that? Sure. Anything else? Yeah, the popcorn chicken nuggets. Like spicy popcorn chicken or the regular ones? The regular ones, please. Okay. That's it, thank you. Well, that's a fail because you guys heard what I did to it. <laughs> I was gonna show you as a surprise, but now it's not a surprise. Minor issues in the through today. They're usually peppy at the window for that payment, but not today. We got a stick up. Bag is secured. Oh, almost got in an accident, but the bag is secured. Uh, how is how we is going to go about this though? Just back it in. Just back it in. Is that too much sun? Let's find out. Is that too much night sun? Yeah, the jury's out. It's too much sun. I'm not into it. All right, we've located some side sun. I think this is the spot. Window down for some zen ambiance of whatever that guy's engine is, but also the birds good weather got me giddy this thing what are you i think this is the sourdough chicken we got these little popcorn nuggets that i've never even heard of from bk seems strange if you ask me and god damn it i should have got a dip with them they didn't even offer a dip but and that's definitely a garlicky burger so how about this though three items two burgers and some little popcorn nuggies 22.57 it is and that hurts my heart more than the food itself thumbnail time russell brand in it jeez quite the adventure oh man they forgot to add the lettuce and the pickle i gotta go back around they forgot to add the lettuce and pickle and normally i'm not this guy but I paid for it, but I actually want it. I just want to experience it with lettuce and pickles, so. 
we're going back around. The deed has been done and we're back with honey mustard for our uh, popcorn chicken. So maybe blessing in disguise a little bit. And I was able to coerce them into four mayo packets. So that seems excessive, but why not? I didn't ask for four, by the way. Asked for one. She gave me four. She, she coerced me. All right, y'all. I gotta say this mission has been nothing short of quite the event, but we're ready for our first bite of this garlic. Looks like there's bacon on it. I didn't know that. Cheese, garlic, bacon, crispy onions, double patty type Whopper, add lettuce and pickle. They made it brand new, fresh, hot when I went to the window. So shout out to them. I do appreciate that. Okay, let's get this. I'm still not sure yet. Let me find out. In other videos, I've watched people saying that the garlic sauce is extremely powerful. Okay, I just tried it individually. It's good, but it's balanced. In my opinion, definitely not overwhelming. But and in anticipation of that, that's why I wanted lettuce and pickle. I wanted lettuce to like freshen up the vibe and then pickle to cut the acid to cut the garlic. What was my thinking? I have to say this, this is really good. I actually really enjoy that it's one cheese slice because two would be too many. It would make it too rich. Also, the pickle bites are absolutely phenomenal. It makes the sandwich. It's that acid that breaks up the monotony. It's a good burger by my design, but the sauce is nice. Real nice. But yeah, beauty night, as you can see, sun is dipping right now. Loving this evening eat. And as nice as summer is, the cold, cool, crisp Canadian breeze of fall 
is already rearing its crispy little head and I gotta tell you, I love it. A crispy, not hot, just a little something in the air at night. Beautiful. All right, I could easily mash this out right now because it is really good, but I'm gonna move to the uh, sourdough chicken sandwich because I wanna get through most of that as well. Just before that, I've decided for a little intermission on these popcorn chickens. I figure these are like, uh, just wanted to try a couple more or less. Something BK's never carried. Nice little snack. They're like two bucks. They remind me, obviously, of just like KFC. Honey mustard. Their honey mustard is hella loose. Could use some thickening up. But, meh. Nothing right home about. And what really hits me right where it hurts is they don't offer a dip with it. They just serve them straight up, which in my mind is a fatal flaw. For any dippable nugget like chicken thing, always a sauce, always offer a sauce. All right, next up, we got the sourdough chicken club sandwich basically I love sourdough anything in terms of sandwiches extra tomato extra tomato get basically a BLT with chicken extra mayo I added um, I took the cheese off because we know where I stand with cheese on my chicken sandwiches but let's give this a nice bite I have had this one time two years ago. Though I had it with cheese because I didn't know what came with cheese, just ordered it. Back when I was About to flee Toronto. Hotel mukbang. Remember it like it was yesterday. Good times, sad times, rad times, bad times, all at the same time. Is what was truly happening at that time. But the night I had before that was fun as fuck. So I'll say this. Uh, I love this thing. I feel like BK's chicken sandwich game. Stays on point. I like the crisp on it. I like the flavor on it. And I actually really like the thickness of the patty. It's not huge, and I don't like huge, massive. lab grown Franken chicken patties. I don't want to bite through three inches of meat. Three quarters of an inch is fine. So 
seems to be all the lettuce has fallen out into the diaper. <laughs> it is the case. My only critique right now is something in here is coming through a little salty, like heavy on the salt. Mm. Good though, very good though. We got car problems in front of me here. We got a guy getting saved by what looks like his father, uncle, or his friend's father. Definitely a fleet of skip the dishes drivers. You can just tell. I'm not going to go into how you can just tell, but in my town, you can just tell who's driving skip. I'll say it might come off as racist as to how you can tell, but it's just a fact that a certain um, set of people, individuals, group of similar people, they all tend to do that work. And that's good, that's fine. Basically, all I'm trying to say is Jag Preet is on his way with your order. You know what I mean? But shout out Jag Preet. You know? All right. Satisfied here. Um, quite the little go around. I'll say this. They're both very good sandwiches. Um, of course, I customize them to my liking, so they're going to be more enjoyable to my palate. So it is BK. Have it your way. Do it however the fuck you want to do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to adhere to the menu. You can make slight and minor changes for your palate. I highly suggest that you always do that in your life. Uh, also, the little popcorn chickens, whatever, would never get them again. They just, they're, they're dust. They're really just dust. But if you're going to get this garlic burger... I'm telling you, lettuce and pickle. And I might even say the lettuce isn't essential, but the pickle is. Come on, bruh. But they, they both play a part and I would get both, again. All right, in summary, what have we learned? Curate things to your palate preference. Jagpreet is on his way with your order. And four mayos is three many. Okay? Till the next one. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.